Welcome back. If we're in the kitchen, you know what that means. Trending Tuesday. That's right. And scary things could happen. Scary things could happen, <laughs> but I think today is going to be a good day. We're sponsored by our friends at Elm City Market. We went there this morning. We picked up all of these tasty ingredients. And today we are making a rainbow antipasto pasta salad. I know. It's so funny. Earlier when our producer told us what we were making, I was like, Bella, what? I'm so, I feel like... We just never say the, the full name. I feel like it's just antipasta in my house. You just yes. say antipasta. I, you take off the O, not even antipasta. You could tell I exactly. didn't grow up in an Italian household. No. Antipasta. Antipasta. All right, so here are the ingredients right there on the screen. You are going to need one pound of dry tricolor rotini pasta. So this is like a pasta salad in yes. a house, right? Yep. You need some salami, a cup of that, pepperoni, a cherry tomato as well. You need one cup. And we have mozzarella, of course. Any Italian pasta salad needs that. Mm -hmm. Then we have half a cup of sliced black olives and then half a cup of marinated artichoke hearts. But wait, there's more. We also have pepperoncini, roasted red pepper, chopped fresh kale, red onion, and then you top it all off with Italian dressing. So we have the hard job of just adding it all together yes. into the bowl today and then, of course, getting to taste test it. So here are the ingredients. Easy. We already have the cooked pasta ready to go. We added that into this bowl. And really, then you just add all of the ingredients. That's but right. you want to make sure that the tomatoes are sliced, the onions are sliced, and you have the smaller um, mozzarella as well. That's right. And we are always very lucky. Elm City Market already kind of pre-portioned this for us. So really, we're just putting it in the bowl and putting on some dressing. But, you know, that's probably the longest prep time it'll take you if you make it at home just to chop everything up. Really no rhyme or reason as to what goes in first. Going with so the meat first. Put the meat first, the protein. Look good. Good. Stuff. Artichoke hearts. Artichokes. Some veggies. I love artichokes. I love artichokes, Hutch too. Hutch is in the studio. Hutch loves artichokes. They're good She's for somewhere. you. Laura loves artichokes. All right. And, and I do tomatoes. love, this is great, as we always say, for any, you know, 4th of July is not all too far away if I you know. are going and, to a party. And I love how there are certain things here that you can obviously add in or take away. Like for me, if I was making this at my home. No olives. No olives. Me too. I wouldn't be adding the olives. No olives Should for me. Should we forgo the olives? Let's forgo the let's olives. Go, We're going to tweak the it olive. today. <laughs> no hate Sorry, if you City. like we olives. We are changing it up a little bit here. We're switching it up. And you know, this is like... I'll add the roasted red peppers as you add I'll this put some kale. kale. We got a lot of colors going on here. Eat the rainbow, that's what they say. Yeah, that's right. It smells delicious, actually. And I really do love these. They make it so easy. If you buy them pre-portioned like this, the mozzarella, you don't have to chop it up, which is And it's Leozzi cheese. It's Leozzi cheese right here in Connecticut. Right. Think North, North Haven? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, don't get oh, that no, water. Oh, no, I'm getting the, the cheese water. water. Not the cheese uh -oh. water. Uh-oh. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be trusted, even with prepackaged stuff. <laughs> Clearly. All right. That's all right. The Let's dressing will cover the it. The pepperoni. Chi. I hope I'm saying that right. Pepperoncini. Pepperoncini. Right? I'm not sure. <laughs> Someone, I'm sure, will comment and let us know. <laughs> okay. There you Beautiful. go. And now we'll just add a little bit of the dressing because we are foregoing. We're, for we're foregoing the olives today. The Italian dressing. Yep. So this is two cups of dressing. And then really you just mix it all together. And what I love about these is the longer they marinate, the better they become. A so Italian this, seasoning on top. Bath. Beautiful. And it's that easy. We did and it. And it's delicious. And it's delicious. We are going to do a taste test. We have some really great guests in the studio. They're You'll already dying them. to try what we made. So, you know, if that's a testament to our work, I'll take it. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> 